Well, I recently had uh, need to move a spreadsheet, import a spreadsheet from Excel into Google Spreadsheets or Google Docs, and to my dismay, discovered that the Google Docs doesn't support VBA, but it does support JavaScript. So I had to port the macro that was in this worksheet into JavaScript so I, it would work in Google Docs and I just wanted to show you kinda how that works this will be pretty brief but at least I'll give you some indication of what Google Spreadsheets is capable of so as I say it does not Google Docs does not support VBA uh, but it has JavaScript and then they have these extensions they built into it to let you ex um, let you address and make use of values that are in a sheet and functions that are available in, in Excel or in Google Spreadsheets and read and write from a cell and that sort of thing. So I'll just kind of walk you through some of this so you see how it works. The main thing is um, there is a built-in editor in Google Docs for editing these scripts and to, to open it up you open a spreadsheet in Google Docs and then you go to the tools menu or tools tab and the script script editor and it opens up a little JavaScript editor you can type in there um, and then access your functions that you type in that editor from within the sheet itself as I did this I used help quite a bit so um, to get help on these topics you have to open the script editor first and then go to the help menu there and there's some examples so you can look at examples and then there's a list of all the functions that are available in within the JavaScript that's been uh, amended to work with the spreadsheet. So all the little uh, functions for ranges and all that stuff that you are used to using in VBA, um, th there's a list of those there that um, you can use to access um, spreadsheet values and that sort of thing. So be sure to open up that help menu if you're new to this and look at all these spreadsheet functions that are that have been added in uh, to JavaScript to make it work um, and then as you need help you know you'll be going back there quite a bit to see how you do various things and again those examples that are available in there are quite helpful so here's the first script I wrote um, I wanted to just see if I could write a runga cutter script so I wanted to build a function that would do a single fourth order runga cutter step and so this is the function that does that I wrote a function called RK step I think all of this should be familiar with you if, if you've written uh, programs in any language uh, a couple things to point out is that we use these curly brackets um, to enclose all the statements within this function everything all the statements end with a semicolon which is something that you wouldn't do if you're in VBA I declared the variables here which I don't often do in VBA and then you use a return statement to send the value back alright so all that's pretty straightforward you just gotta get used to the syntax differences between VBA and JavaScript um, but it shouldn't take you too much time to port something over um, the one thing I'll point out here is I did call a function here the function defines the differential equation that you were using to solve this differential uh, using this fourth order runga kata and so that function looked like this f of t and y so the function the, the equation I was solving was dy dt is 2yt so this has to so, uh, define the 2 times y times t and it does that and notice I'm at this with math statement to make the math library available so you'll probably need that especially for some of the functions if you want to know what's built into this math library again the help in the script editor will give you a list of functions that are available um, so basically you just paste those two functions into the VBA editor and then um, you can go to the spreadsheet and call that function the RK step function and it'll do a single run to cut a step and you call it a bunch of times and you could solve a differential equation that way it's pretty straightforward um, I'll mention at the end but but I might as well say it now the one drawback in my opinion is that it's really slow doing this so you you can actually watch the if you do say 10 
run Kakata steps, you can actually watch the value showing up as the calculations come. So hopefully the performance will be improved in the future. But for now, it's slow, but at least it works. Um, so as I say here, to run it, you just call the function from within a cell in a spreadsheet as if it was built in. Nothing special about that. All right, one more thing I'll add. I pasted in here um, one of the sample um, scripts that's available in the help on the in, within Google Docs. And it's just to give you a flavor of how some of this works. So I'll kind of walk through the steps here. So this first command gets the active spreadsheet and sets it to be the variable SS. So now the active spreadsheet is SS. And then we want to pull out a single sheet. So I set a variable sheet to be uh, th the first tab sheet within that workbook SS. And then I use this input box um, to ask the user to enter a number. And then it gives them a little um, form. They enter the number in the text box. And then the my value variable becomes the value the user enters in that input box. Then uh, we set cell A1 to be this string, number entered, right? So this set value command sets the cell A1 to be this string, number entered. Um, then what we want to do is take the value the user entered and write in, write that value into cell B1. And so to do that, you define a variable I call the B1 range or they call the B1 range and it's supposed to be set to the range B1 and then we set that variable which is that range to be the value um, that the user entered the my value variable all right so this sequence of commands asks a user to enter a number takes that number writes it into cell B1 and then writes the string number entered into cell A1 then they define a new variable value to show and it's the value in B1 range or of cell B1 plus one so it adds one to that value and then it displays it in a little pop-up window which is using the message box command that you've seen in VBA so you know there's some similarity to VBA here but it is enough different that it takes a little getting used to but once you get the hang of it pretty much anything you can do in VBA you can do that or something similar in a in a spreadsheet in in Google Docs. All right, so it takes a little work and a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, as I say, the only downside is, in my experience, these things are pretty slow. So don't expect any high performance computation using this approach. And I'll just add, since this was pretty brief, if you have any questions, just feel free to send me an email directly. Um, comments in YouTube are not the best way to to get feedback on these kind of things. So just send me an email directly and I can try to help. But I'm no expert in these JavaScript scripts for for Google Docs. I've just done a few of them. All right, that's it.